There are times when digging deeper into your community's history definitely shouldn't involve a shovel. Shall we take a closer look? Many of us live, work, play, and are schooled in this community, Ames, Iowa. And in our routines, we pass this landmark, Jack Trice Stadium. But who was Jack Trice, and why was this football stadium named after him? John Trice was born in 1902 in Hiram, Ohio. The son of Mother Anna and of Father Green Trice, a former slave and buffalo soldier who began his education in the first grade at age 26. In 1918, Jack moved to Cleveland, Ohio, where he played football for coach Sam Williman at East Technical High School. Jack would later follow Williman to Iowa State University following Williman's hire as the Cyclones coach. Following his freshman year, Jack married his sweetheart, Cora Mae Starland, and then returned to Ames, where he was majoring in animal husbandry while Cora Mae studied home economics. Jack was 20. In his first varsity college football game against the University of Minnesota on October 6, 1923, Jack sustained mortal injuries at the end of the third quarter when he was trampled by several Minnesota players. It remains unknown whether Jack was targeted and his injuries sustained as a result of race-related violence. Minnesota went on to win the game 20-17. Jack died of internal and pulmonary hemorrhaging two days later, October 8, 1923. A memorial service for Jack, his casket draped in cardinal and gold, was attended by more than 4,000 students and faculty members of Iowa State University. Jack was laid to rest among family in Hiram, Ohio. History doesn't record Jack's final thoughts as he lay dying, but we do know his thoughts on the eve of the big game. A letter written from his room at the Curtis Hotel on October 5th, 1923, and addressed to whom it may concern, was found in his jacket pocket after his death. The original letter is preserved and archived in the Special Collections Department of the Parks Library at Iowa State University. In his letter, Jack spoke of his aspirations, high aspirations for each of us, regardless of our own particular field of pursuit. He wrote, Everyone is expecting me to do big things. I will. My whole body and soul are to be thrown recklessly about on the field tomorrow. Every time the ball is snapped, I will be trying to do more than my part. Jack Trice, one of the first African-American athletes to compete for ISU, remains the only ISU student athlete to have died as a result of competition-related injuries. In 1997, Cyclone Stadium was officially renamed Jack Trice Stadium in his memory. Memorials to his spirit, such as this one, may be found at several locations.